Hello everybody, welcome to this video. We're going to shuffle it up a little today in this Excel 365 tutorial and we're going to look at randomizing a set of data. And our set of data today is this deck of cards, 52 unique items. And uh, we're going to start out by making a named range for it. I'm just going to select that range and call it deck and hit enter. And I'll show you how the spill function works in 365 Excel. You can just do equals deck and it will spill out into the uh, rows below where you put that. So keep that in mind. And then we're going to use the rand array function. And I'm going to make 52 entries. And I'm going to leave everything as a default. So we have 52 random numbers here. And we have these 52 cards. So I'm actually, I want to do these together. So I'm going to do h stack and i'm going to do rand array 52 comma deck so now you can see in one formula it combined those two functions together to, to provide this result so what we're going to do on top of that on the outside of this h stack is sort it so we're going to sort it by that first random column so that's column one and you can sort either way and that's a one or a negative one. So now we've already accomplished our goal. We have our deck of cards uh, completely shuffled. If you hit F9, it'll be completely uh, randomized order. Let's clean this up a little bit more. I don't need that uh, randomized number anymore in my output. So I'm going to drop it from the output. And the first argument of drop is the row and I want to drop a column. So I'm going to do comma, comma, one. So that's dropped uh, column one and it left column two there, but it's still randomized. And then what we're going to do here is put the uh, number of cards that you wanted to take. So if you, if you wanted to do a five random draw, you could do take. Now you could use this whole set of data if you wanted or just take five. And now you have a randomized five unique cards that won't duplicate. Oh, I got a three of a kind in one try there. Look at that. So, uh, let's see what else we can do here. Let's say we want to have two or three sets of five cards. Let's try to take 15 cards. Wrap calls function, wrap columns. And we're going to do this one as wrap count three. I think that's the right argument. Well, let's do wrap count five to have it go the other way. Yeah, there you go. So now you have player one, player two, player three with their uh, randomized cards. Okay, well, you can play around with that. I hope you learned something about the uh, rand array and h stack and sort, etc. So I'm going to tune out. Have a good day.